2010 has been a year of achievement for the U.S. Army Chemical Materials Agency, known as CMA. A year of CMA reaching milestones and goals. A year of progress, built on hard work of years past. As CMA continues to safely store and ultimately eliminate the aging chemical weapons, the future points toward continued achievement and success. CMA's achievements in 2010 came as a direct result of individual effort and commitment, the commitment to making our communities, country, and the world safer. Less than a quarter of the U.S. stockpile remains to be destroyed. All non-stockpile treaty milestones have been achieved. Another destruction site has been safely closed. And the four remaining chemical material agency chemical weapons destruction sites are in their final campaigns. CMA remains committed to meeting the Chemical Weapons Convention Treaty obligations. And we are planning for the future, for the successful completion of CMA's disposal mission, and for the safe continued storage of chemical weapons in Colorado and Kentucky. In 2010, CMA closed the Newport Chemical Agent Disposal Facility, deactivated the Newport Chemical Depot, fulfilled its treaty obligations for declared non-stockpile chemical materiel, added millions of hours worked safely to already stellar records, and reached 75 percent destruction of the overall chemical weapons stockpile. Non-stockpile and the storage sites continued to make improved progress in their contributing efforts towards safety excellence. In 2010, CMA destruction sites had a recordable injury rate of 0.77 incidents per 200,000 hours worked. This makes working at our disposal facilities safer than working in insurance, finance, child care, real estate, and a host of other professions. An additional aspect of CMA's 2010 achievements is a successful completion of the Chemical Surety Inspections, or CSIs conducted by the Department of the Army Inspector General at the Pueblo Chemical Depot, the Umatilla Chemical Depot, and the Pine Bluff Arsenal. Also on the surety side, the Tuella Chemical Agent Disposal Facility achieved a year without a surety violation. While maintaining its culture of safety, CMA reached the 75% destruction achievement on July 1st of 2010. This impressive accomplishment was reached through the combined efforts of all CMA employees, past and present. 75% represents 22,958 tons of chemical agent and more than 2.1 million munitions destroyed since entry into force of the Chemical Weapons Convention Treaty in April 1997. In June 2010, following a long and memorable history spanning 69 years, the U.S. Army held a deactivation ceremony for the Newport Chemical Depot, the first full installation closure for CMA. Workers past and present, as well as members of the public, watched the casing of the Newport Chemical Depot's colors, a symbolic ceremony signifying the official deactivation of the installation. The depot has since been turned over to the Department of the Army. CMA has successfully completed the disposal missions at three of its seven chemical weapons destruction facilities the Johnson Atoll Chemical Agent Disposal System, southwest of Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean, the Aberdeen Chemical Agent Disposal Facility in Maryland, and now the Newport Chemical Agent Disposal Facility in Indiana. CMA's remaining sites continue the safe storage of chemical munitions, and the four disposal sites are in their final agent campaigns. All of CMA's mission areas operate safely and efficiently. We are continuing to store our chemical weapons here very safely and very securely at our stockpile sites spread across the United States. Uh, I can actually prove that because over the past year, uh, the chemical surety inspections at Pueblo, Umatilla, and Pine Bluff have gone very, very well. Also, our uh, inspections from the International Treaty Organization, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, have come to our declared facilities, found no issues at any of our sites. CMA's Non-Stockpile Chemical Materiel Project, or NSCMP, added its fair share of achievements in 2010 with the completion of operations of the Pine Bluff Explosive Destruction System, known as PBEDS, located in Arkansas. The NSCMP Research and Development Team, faced with the unique and diverse inventory of recovered munitions at PBEDS, invented patented processes and cutting-edge equipment enhancements, significantly cutting costs and staying true to NSCMP's commitment of environmental stewardship. PBEDS began operations in June 2006 and by April of this year had finished its mission, 
destroying more than 1,200 chemical agent filled munitions, including 4.2 inch mortars and German tractor rockets captured during World War II. The completion of the PBED's mission marked the destruction of the largest recovered chemical warfare inventory in the nation and also marked the complete destruction of all non stockpile materiel declared under the Chemical Weapons Convention Treaty. I thought they all did a, a really great job working together. And this is really the first time that we've encountered um, most of these munitions, period. So uh, they were the ones who, who uh, invented and worked through and developed all the processes that we, uh, that we implemented there. And they did a great job doing it. With the remaining CMA chemical weapons disposal sites in their final agent destruction campaigns and the April 2012 treaty deadline looming on the horizon, CMA has been preparing for the changes that will occur when the final sites complete their missions. CMA wants to help employees through each step of the transition process, whether they plan to retire, resign, or seek another career within the program. Chemical Materials Agency established workforce transition offices at each of the sites at Anniston, Pine Bluff, Deseret, and Umatilla so that employees could come in and obtain information about retirement information, benefits, reduction in force, voluntary early retirement authority, voluntary separation incentive pay, and job search information to assist them in their, plan, their plans for the future. As mentioned, an additional aspect of CMA's 2010 achievements is the successful completion of Chemical Surety Inspections, or CSIs, conducted by the Department of the Army Inspector General, or DAIG, at the Pueblo Chemical Depot, the Umatilla Chemical Depot, and the Pine Bluff Arsenal. The final CSI reports for the two D-Mill facilities and three storage areas inspected by the DAIG in 2010 showed that Pine Bluff, Umatilla, and Pueblo passed with no failing deficiencies. The CSI results, together with CMA's safety record, demonstrate the CMA safety and surety culture. In 2010, Pueblo completed its overpack X-ray operations, which identified the exact configuration, fill level, and condition of each overpacked munition in storage. And the Pueblo Chemical Depot also completed the final phase of a two-and-a-half-year effort with the Colorado State Department of Public Health and Environment by safely shipping 58 pallets of legacy secondary hazardous waste to Veolia Environmental Services in Port Arthur, Texas, for disposal. The CMA storage mission also continued to support treaty efforts in 2010 with successful inspections of the stockpiled chemical weapons by teams from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, or OPCW, at Anniston, Bluegrass, Deseret, Pine Bluff, and Umatilla. It has truly been a remarkable year. To all of you, the dedicated men and women of CMA, I give my sincere appreciation for a job well done. You have made 2010 a year of achievement, a year that is yet another positive chapter in the book of chemical weapons history. I look forward to our achievements in 2011, which will only be met through your continued dedication and expertise. Again, thank you for a job well done.